Hello there boys and girls, this is Les here over at Featherstone Hydroponics. Uh, today is lesson number two, or instruction number two. If you remember we're setting up this tent, this is a 1.2 metre tent with the grow system and I'm going to wear some peppers. This is the tent itself and this particular one is the 1.2 metre tent, which is a 1.2 metre square. Just get my catalogue so I can tell you exactly. It's 1.2 metres square and 1800 um, millimetres high, that's 1.8 metres, it's about 6 foot high. Uh, this is the Mammoth Pro Tent, and this particular one is about 125 quid. We do sell these. We sell them from a metre square up to uh, 2.4 metres square. That's huge. Quite a lot of range here. So anyway, we're going to have a go at putting this one together, which is going to be good fun. Because you already know, I'm all fingers and thumbs. So let me get me uh, most important tool, which is this, of course. Just pop this down over here. So I'm going to start by popping this. It does actually tell you on the side of the box. I don't know if you can see this. It tells you on the side of the box what size you've got, and this is it says on it a mobile climate room. Like I said, these are made manufactured by Mammoth, which is a good brand. This is the pro version, which is a slightly thicker material, better quality material. But they do do a budget one, and they also do uh, a standard one. And there's usually about 20 quid difference between the different uh, qualities. noise in background that's because I'm doing it I'm doing this video at back at shop so you know the shop's just there. So that's the tent itself. And then the poles for bring it together. A destruction manual. Some ties. Joint connectors. Hooks and connectors for pipes. And I think that's either a carry bag or a flap. And that again is another flap. So let's have a look at these destructions. Let me just turn this camera around so let's see if I'm on. Right now, what it says on these instructions, they look pretty straightforward. I'll just hold this here like this look. So basically it's telling you to put the square ends together first, which would actually be the top and the bottom, with the joint connectors, and then we assemble the two bits, two ends together if you like. So, here we go, so we have to get up floor. Got design for this. So, step one. These pipes come in two lengths, as you can see, they've got two different lengths. And if I can't do this on my own, I'll grab Liam. Liam is just right on. Green stickers on the short ones, spots, and you've got a red one on the longer ones, like so, if you can see that. Now I'm going to sit down because it's going to kill my knees. Oh. oh, not designed for sitting on the floor. Right, so we want the long ones. Have a look at these. Yes, it's the long ones. So that's the red one. Let's get rid of them a sec. I'm guessing that's them. Long ones and short ones. 
Oh yeah, the colour code of here, look. So you've got eight green and eleven red. Can you see that on back of this on back of this leaflet? And on the diagrams, if you notice, you've got red bits and green bits. So it shows you which is which. So we are now looking for the red bits, which is these. And that is the one that we're going to make the squares out of. So we've got the corner pieces, which is self adding up which is which. Now I have got a rubber hammer just in case, it's a rubber one, I don't want to smash this stuff. But it's quite brittle. So basically we're going to start putting this up. That's that. far in front you can see, I can't see up there. I'm going to repeat that. Position this. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing at the floor. So that's two of the squares. We'll be putting this one that way up there, and this one this way. But while I'm sat here, I'll do that square. Save a bit of getting up and down. Now, these particular tents, like I said, these are. Uh, 125 quid, which sounds like a lot of money, but you're going to get a lot of service out of it. You know, it's not just to use it once and that's it. You're going to get years worth of service out of it. Just by looking after it a bit. So actually, a pretty good value. But like I said, if you are on a, a more of a tight budget, there is there is budget versions of these, which, which are probably about, I don't know, 80 quid, something like that. So I'll put these uh, cross pieces in now. See now what we've done, we've created the bottom frame and the top frame. See that? That's what we've got now. We've got the bottom and the, and the top squares. And the slope. I'm going to shift it because I know for a while it's going to go flying. Right, so the next bit. We want the green bits. So we're going to put four green bits in each of these. These are the green bits. These are going to be upright. This is where my hammer might come in.
repeat the process over here. The next step is actually putting the connectors on, which is these straight ones, and that's to connect one pipe to another. So that's as, that's as uh, upright it's done. And now what I've got to do is put the top bit on the top. And we've pre-built this. Probably easier as a tool manager at this. But uh, none of it is particularly heavy. So that's the basic frame, up, easy peasy. Now then, we've also got, on here, another pack of connectors. Now these connectors, I'll show you on the drawing. These particular connectors are for hanging your bars across to stabilise it at the top and also give you somewhere to hang um, the fans and filters and stuff like that. So that's what these are. Really. Well, that's what we're doing now. Oh, so here we are now. These ones look like they just pop on. Now looking at them, they are actually shaped, so you've got a flat top there, you can see that's flat, but the other side is angled, so let's just have a look, see which way around them. Uh, well, it looks like the angled bit goes down, so the flat bit at the top. Like so. so one, and these just push on. So, one. Two. One. Two. And then this one, now this one, I'm going to put it the other way up. I think what it is, is it, is it hangs, let's see if I can show you close up. It hangs that way up, this one, because that makes this hole lower. Do you know what I mean? If you turn it that way, the hole is now up here. So where these bars inside the tank cross, this needs to be lower in order to go underneath them, doesn't it? That's why it's shaped. Let me see if it goes underneath or over the top. 
Right, this one goes over the top. That could mean that way. Over the top. Over the top. Which means these ones need swapping around. So these ones, side ones, need to be angled at the top so that the pipe is lower. You'll understand when you do a work for you. Right, so that's that. Angles at the top. Right. You can now put the last three metal bars in. So we're going underneath. You might have to twist it a bit to get it in. Like so, and then again this side. Now you might have to angle this a bit to get it in. You might even have to tap that out a bit. Oh, I'm going to do it with a bit crafty. I'm going to slide it in there and get it up here and slide it across. That was sneaky. Same again. making sure that these are actually, you know, sort of horizontal. And the final one. Now this is the one that goes over the top. So this one might be a little bit more awkward. And again, I'll have to slide this plastic piece down a bit in order to get it in. So that is now our frame complete, nice, tight and rigid, not too traumatic so far, now comes the traumatic part, <laughs> now this is the good bit, this is where we've got to get the tent over the frame, which is not easy.
have to work out whether we're going that way. So what we're going to have to do is open the door. It's a bit awkward to tilt it that way. It's a bit awkward getting the, the corners in. That's nearly what it's about. So we uh, need to. That's the other top corner then. Yeah. Tight fit as you can see.
quite dramatic. Oh, about two centimetres of clearance. So that's the basic tent setup. Look. Thank you. So that's as, that's as easy as it was. A little bit traumatic because it's you know it's a it's a swine is what it is. So all we've got to do now is zip this up. Try and pull this zip, Liam. Now what you've got on this tent, you've got these little pieces that are stuck out to the side. I don't think you can see where I've got them. Thank you. Now this is like I said, this is the pro version, so you've got extra facilities on it if you like. Like these, these are intended for extractor uh, pipes. So there's a couple of them are wires and things going in. They're on a drawstring as well, so you can close it. It's actually a double drawstring. The one down here. You've got another little door. If you just want to tend your stuff that way. You've got a little flap low down here which lets air in. Which is what these were for. If you wanted to keep the line out, what you can do because they've got velcro all around. So that's now light tight again. The other ones around it, you've got a big door at that side, you've got a little door at this side. You've got another vent, you've got another air and let low down, which we'll pull with that again. You've got again, you've got that. You've got that little door on the other side. Another inspection hat, if you like, goes all the way around. And another two exit ports or inlet ports. And if I'm tilted on the top, you've also got another exit port. And like I said, this is the 1.2 meter size. big enough for the watering system that we're going to be putting in here. We've got, we're setting it up specifically for this, aren't we? Uh, so that's that's it for this video then. That's basically how easy it is to do. It's, it's perhaps a two-man job in some areas because, you know, when you come to put the tent on, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, but other than that, that's it. So this is now going to go over there in the spot that we've selected. What we're actually going to be doing in one of these. Another optional extra is if this is like a flexible tray that goes in the bottom so if you spill any water in there it's not going to come through and destroy your gas. So that literally just locked in there. Like that. So that's now waterproof in there so if you spill out it's not going to ruin your carpet. So that's a really good, uh, good piece of kit that. So that's about it. Now I'm just going to show you because you might be interested. You know I've been growing orchids for like, I don't know, 40 odd year. 
but I'm interested in all the tropical plants as well. Anyway, this is one that I bought. I have to sneak out of this. This is one that I got a couple of years ago, and this time it's flowering for the first time. And this is Salandra Maxima, otherwise known as the chalice vine, golden chalice vine. Look at that. A huge owl. Anyway, this is um, this basically turns into like a Tarzan vine. You know, oh, oh, oh it's one of them. Uh, but this one's native to Mexico and, uh, and South America, and it grows up into trees and makes these huge vines that you can swing on. But that's where it's called. I can imagine a tree that's in, that's engulfed in one of these plants and then he flower like that. Amazing. So that's your little bonus. So the next video we're going to be doing is setting up that actual Wilmer system with the plants and that. So we'll be going through all the setup of that, uh, different options that you've got like pebbles or soil or this, that and other. And also we've got different drippers in the kit. So you have a choice. So we'll be, we'll be doing that very shortly. Anyway, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, which is Life with Les. And you'll see uh, more of these videos. The next video, like I say, is doing the watering system. Then we'll be doing the potting and then we'll be doing the feed. In the meantime, you take care and I'll see you on the next video.